What's up guys, Corvus here and welcome to episode 18 of my Eurobane of Asalus 4 playthrough as the people stay building tall. On yesterday's episodes we did some development, we upgraded our tech level, we did a lot of mercantilism, I think we got 10 whole levels in mercantilism. And we also finished out humanist ideas, so on today's episode I'm hoping to get to national sovereignty. Sovereign sovereignty, um, which means getting up to tech 18. I'll hopefully get um, universities everywhere as well, which means we'll have to develop everywhere so that we can build one more building. We should also get these techs, and yeah, let's get underway. So that, I do kind of care about that, I don't care about. Um, we do care about peace offers. Uh, we don't really care about that. Get rid of that. Don't care about guarantees. We do care about that. Um, yeah, you can have money. We don't care about guarantees. Care about that. Stop doing that. We don't care. And we don't care if people revoke guarantees either. Cancel that. Peace offer. We could get military tech or we could just do some more development. So we need to get everything up to a new level. There. 20, but we're going to hold off until we get universities. Some of them are going to be hard to get up to a new level because they're currently on 20. Uh, we'll lose the manpower, because manpower is not a crucial thing. Depot tech costs 800, no reason to take it. We're actually going to take some mercantilism boost. I'm going to do three levels. Yes, we're going to hold off, like I said, until we get the next admin level. It will cost 1200 power at the moment. We are 16 years ahead of time though. We'll take the devotion, maxes us out. France, Spain, we'll see Jerusalem and Urgrafirene. Mainz has collapsed, I don't care. It only really matters when it happens to a huge country and they split off into a million pieces. When it happens to mines who have one province, it doesn't really matter. So we'll hold off on building anything there. We have a claim on Naples, or Napoli. We could give it up. Actually, you can't give up claims, can you? You can only give up cores. We don't have a core. And we don't plan to go to war for it, so. All right, military tech we can get for 600 points, 618. Um, we can hold off until it's less than 600. No real need to upgrade at the moment. We don't care about people getting new governments. Uh, don't really care about Cassus Belli either. Conversion's important in case one of the big um, blobs converts. Apart from that, yes, Cassus Belli told him I told you, I don't care. Uh, we'll gain some double part. We can now take this at the end of the month. Good. 558. This one will cost 672, so we'll hold off. Get a new unit type. So charge, we've got, we've got the max of that. So it's a new type of cannon, the chain by Demi Cannon. We're holding off on that, which means we're going to have to up mercantilism. We'll do up to 50. So we're halfway to our mercantilism target. We will take this golden age of Dutch painting. Diplo tech cost goes down by 3%. Nice. Wonder how, how long does that last? We're going to get us our Diplo tech early. No, still 654 points. Uh, golden. Age of Dutch painting lasts for 50 years. Wow, it's a long time. 
So that would be like Van Van Hook. Is it? Is that how you pronounce Van Gogh surname? Is it Van Gogh or is it Van Hook? Or I'm not sure the original Dutch pronunciation of it. Uh, I don't really care about modifiers. Peace. That's good. Let's convert that province that just became available. Full annexation of Montferrat by Savoy. So they're trying to recoup as much power as possible. They did lose some power when we took Nice from them. Not too much. They did lose their only coastal province though, so they may have actually lost quite a lot of power there. Do I want the devotion, uh, the corruption? Sure. And then we'll just pay off the corruption. We still make money just by rooting out corruption. I don't really care about your missions, Ottomans. Um, we have a new ruler, 521. So we're going to get lots of admin points thanks to that. We can actually get this, which is less than 600, so let's take it. We're almost at admin tech 17. And we can no longer build in... Oh, it's because we're converting it at the moment. That's why we can't build there. Uh, we are going to get a new level 3 advisor. Do I want fort defense, maintenance? Let's get maintenance. It's only 30, so you shouldn't die anytime soon. 4% yearly death risk, 10% yearly death risk. So 10% one will fire any day now. Heresy for 10 years. Really punishing on the province. Or 30 diplo power. That's a case when power isn't worth as much as just ruin, ruining a province for 10 years. So we can do more conversion, conversion of Nice. We have a little bit of unrest in Nice, but that's fine. We are nearly at the next admin tech level. Currently costs a thousand. Uh, admin tech may be something that we so 50% chance of forensian nationalists or whatever. Heretics, probably. So I'll send you up to forens and then we will do this. It didn't even fire, so that's fine. You head home. Admin tech may be something that we actually do overspend on. I think it may be worth it. Depending on what ideas we're going to take. 50 prestige or 1 stability. We're at 3 stability and we're at max prestige. I'll just take the prestige. We'll be super prestigious. Uh, admin power. We have a lot available, but we need too much there. <coughs> My throat is starting to go. That's not a good sign. Umbria's converted, let's... Why did that pop up if I couldn't convert anything? Right, so we've converted that province. Mogadishu, we'll see Mogadishu. A war sheik, a war sheik and Beledwin, Ethiopia. I don't care about your alliance. It's interesting that they were delayed an alliance request. We'll get rid of that. We reach maximum. Do we buy this? We're wasting three hundred power, but it gets us at it gets us the thing. So let's do it. Also gets us established Sunday schools, which increases maintenance, missionary um, speed, missionary strength. We should actually have a look at idea groups and see what reduces tech. Is there any tech cost reduction? Doesn't look like it. And I think it would only be innovative. It would really be under. It doesn't look like you can get any tech cost reduction from policies, which would be really strong if you could. So we're gonna build universities everywhere so we can can only do it in one province, I think, at the moment. Oh wait, we can build them everywhere. Why can we build them everywhere? 
we can build it everywhere because it takes up the new building slot. That's what it does. What else does it do? Local development cost reduction by 20%. That's huge. There we go. Get started on those universities. So we could actually have built in that province. Uh, was a Nice, an alliance from France, sure. I may have to dis, um, I may have to betray you, France, at some point. Decline your call to arms. But I'll be friendly for as long as you don't go to war. Let's just make people happy. I don't want anyone hating me. Um, tech, that's okay. We get a new idea at the next tech level. Next admin tech level at least. Uh, we are going to get another trade efficiency guy. This guy's 35, 0% death risk. 12% for the 58 year old. So what's our next idea group going to be? We have three admin and one military so far. My other advisor died, the 58 year old, who I was just mentioning. I think our next tech is going to be, well, we said we were going to take economic, uh, diplomatic, I think, was one. Was there another idea cost reduction? Don't think there was. It was going to be economic, diplomatic, espionage, and aristocratic, I believe, because that goes all the reductions. So I think we'll do that. Unless there's idea cost reduction somewhere in here. I'm just not seeing. Doesn't look like there is. So yeah, I think we're going to go espionage next to get the minus 5% tech cost to everything. And then we will have how many? So we'll have four admin ideas, two diplo and two military. That works out quite well. So we're going to go level three, national unrest guy. Age 41, so he's got a 0% death risk. So what age do they go death risk? Is it 42? Perhaps. So we convert to Protestant. So we have another reasonably strong Protestant neighbor. Doesn't really matter because they're not going to attack me, I don't think. We can now build something, a manufactory in Nice, textile manufactory. An admiral has died, it's this admiral. Let's get a new one. There we go. These admirals are generally getting, gen oh, very slowly getting better and better and better. Like that's a 141 or something like that. And the previous guy I got was like 131. They're slowly, slowly getting better and better. Netherlands very strong from the looks of them. I would expect them to be able to fight off most people. France, Trier and Luxembourg are their allies. Katsina, who started westernizing, I believe, in the first episode of yesterday, episode 16, are fully westernized. Ferrara has converted to Protestant. Stop converting my land. So Katsina's pretty strong down here. I don't know who they got the westernization border from. Because you have to border a western country to be able to westernize. So I'm not sure who they did it off. Unless, do they share a sea tile with here, Portugal? They share a sea tile in Sao Tome. Sao Tome? I have literally no idea how to pronounce that. Uh, conversion successful. Excellent. We have been, if we are still, yes, we're still Defender of the Faith. We've been Defender of the Faith forever. Like, what? 40 years? That's, entire, that's a guess, but it feels that way. It was almost as soon as Protestantism came into existence they did it. So we just got a new... Um, idea, which was the last one I was happy to take, happy to support, actually no, I'm definitely happy to support that one. Tech cost reduction but stop internal wars. Well since I've stopped going to war, the tech cost reduction is amazing. 
How many people support it? Everyone's actually, oh, 20 people are for it. Actually, 19 now. But a lot of people are for it, which is surprising. Since the Emperor has, like, no Imperial authority at the moment. And then, these don't really benefit me at all. Gain military power. Very nice. So up to 16 or 2, so just over 200 years left. Which means we're definitely in episode 5 of this week, so episode 20 of the series, the final episode. We're definitely going to skip ahead until 1821, and I'll show you guys everything that's gone on. Like how much we've developed everywhere, um, what else, um, if we've reached max tech, what else has happened in the world as well. So, Pope, the religion in Amignon, has converted to Protestant thanks to a Center of Reformation and Altmark all the way up here. Isn't it Altmark? No, Altmark's over here. What am I doing? Altmark's there. I'm thinking of Antwerp. Okay, so we're on about 800 for all of our monarch power. So we're probably going to have to do development. Let's check the tech costs. So this is going to be 864, which is more than I'm willing to pay. So let's do some development. Let's sort by the cheapest place and we will get a rezo up to, we'll put it at 777. Get a new building. Anywhere else that's quite near. Genoa's quite near, so we're going to spend military power on Genoa. So we'll go down to about 400 for everywhere. Uh, so sold by cheapest. Ferrara, we will boost up a little bit. There, we've gone down to 400 or so. And now Pisa, let's upgrade Pisa a little bit. We can't do too much because we need to upgrade these two. And then Albinga, we'll do one. Here, we'll do a little bit. As much as we can, 27. And then there we'll go, 400. And we will upgrade wherever we can. So textile manufacturing here. Plantation over here. And we'll get a regimental camp in Ferrara. Actually, maybe we should do shipyards since boats are things we're actually going to build. So we can actually get another 15 boats. Let's actually just get 25. I'm not bothered now about going... Actually, no, let's get 15 because then we can add 5 to each of the fleets. I think we'll stick to the 3 fleets and just upgrade them by 5 ships at a time for each one. That seems like a more sensible idea than building a Nola 25k. Um, oh, not 25k, 25 ship fleet and sending it to some random trade node. Just because I can. Uh, local goods produced for a year or just get some more admin power, I think there was. So who's invading here? Braunschweig is invading Trier. Uh, Brandenburg is invading Lübeck. We need a new Admiral down here. Let's get a new one. A two, 3 2 2. I would probably say that's better than a 1 4 1. A 3 2 2. Even though, actually, it is technically better just in terms of pips. It's a 2 3 2 is 7, whereas a 1 4 1 is only 6. So, it looks like Hungary is getting destroyed by Bohemia. I'm surprised that the Ottomans haven't gone to war with Hungary. They have expanded up here, which will be troubling for Eastern Europe. Uh, we'll spend the ducats because we're at 14,000. Trier will see the Osnabrück to... Trier basically gave up all their territory. 
and we'll gain an extra stability on top of our maximum stability and that's how we are going to end the first episode of today guys if you've enjoyed make sure to leave a like hit subscribe if you haven't tell me down in the comments below why you didn't enjoy the video uh, come back later today for another episode of Europa Universalis 4 but from me Corvus thank you guys so much for watching and goodbye